Let's do this. Holy shit! It actually worked! No way! G'day guys, Dark and Tiger here, the Tiger from Down Under, and this week I have another toy review and I am super happy about this one because I've really, really, really liked the concept design of it, I was really looking forward to it, and then he came out and I was like, oh my god, he's so cool! So yes, if you don't know who I'm talking about, I am talking about the new Cabin Rider Valkyrie. No, not Valkyrie. Oh, it's Vulcan. <laughs> so basically, well, technically they use the same thing. So eh, whatever. So yes, I am pretty much you going to be reviewing the Cabin Rider Vulcan and Valkyrie Shot Riser with Shooting Wolf Protorize Key. I have wanted this since I saw the concept. I thought I have to get this. And it also gave me a really cool idea. So hopefully you did enjoy the little uh, intro, because uh, that, that's something different. Um, but yeah, I wanted to try something a little bit different. Makes sense being it is shooting wolf, and the character is a wolf. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. All right, let's get into the toy review, enough about that. So as I said, I am doing the review of the Carbon Rider Vulcan and Valkyrie Shot riser. There he is. There he is to save the day. Well, I don't know yet. Um, so this is just currently it is the Carbon Rider Vulcan Shot Rise Key and Shot Riser. But technically both Vulcan and Valkyrie use this weapon to transform. But for now we'll just deal with Vulcan. So Vulcan is right there. Isn't he freaking awesome? I love the design. There's the Shot Riser and Shooting Wolf Protorize Key. Love, love, love the box, really good. It's got a bit of weight to it as well when I got it, so that was a kind of a plus. On the side, you have Vulcan doing his thing with the Shot Riser. On the other side, you have Ames, the company that he works for, and then the Shot Riser. On the back, you have Vulcan doing his normal, typical pose shooting. And the shooting wolf protorize key when it's opened. You can put also, like I said, Valkyrie's one in as well. So you get both, and you can also put their protorize keys in the zero one driver, which we will probably test today. So there it is there. Press the gun, press the thing, do an ability, press it, put it into his belt buckle, or whatever you want to call that, to transform, open up the key, press the button, woof or bullet, or whatever it is, and then put it in the drip gun itself. And then obviously the obligatories, as they usually are. So yeah, I am so freaking happy to finally get this. I really, really wanted this. You're probably going for Darken. He's not a main rider. I, I know, I know, trust me, I know. Lately now, I've started to like a lot of the different riders, not just the main ones. Like, I love Nicarum. Nicarum was absolutely awesome. I love Chaser from Drive. Yes, I know he's a third rider, but leave me alone, just let it, go, let it keep going. So yeah, I liked Chaser. Chaser was really, really cool. I liked Beast from Wizard. They all have everything. Hell, even like Meteor in Forza. As weird as that sounds, I really liked him. He was really cool. At the start, he was a bit of a dick. But anyway, that's beside the point. So I am really happy to be getting this. Plus, it isn't just for one rider. Like I said, you get to use this same driver or the shot riser for two different riders, which is really cool. So it shows that the the series have gone, okay, well normally we give them the same belt style, just do something different. This time they've gone, nope, we're gonna give them a completely different belt, but we're gonna give the secondary and thirdary this belt, which makes 
freaking sense because it's not just a belt, it's also a weapon. Two for one. I like those a lot. So yeah, anyway, moving right along. So that is it there. Now I just need the gun riser and proterize key. And there we go. So there is the shot riser and proterize key. I freaking love these. These look freaking awesome. Um, I absolutely love it. I love the color concept for the gun. Shooting wolf uh, ability bullet. Looks freaking cool. So we're going to have a look at these a little bit more closer depth. We'll look at the proterize key first, then we'll go into the shot riser. So there it is, that is the Shooting Wolf Proterize Key. Absolutely freaking love it. Love this design of a wolf. That's really cool, they've done very well with it. Nice cyan blue, I think. Really well designed, very, very cool, very, very just amazing. Open it up. Mechanical Wolf, looks freaking sick. And then the wolf face there. Really, really well designed. I love it a lot. I think it's really well done. Um, if we press the button. Bullet. Werewolf ability. Werewolf's ability. Don't know how you got werewolf out of wolf, but anyway, we'll take it. So yeah, there you go. That is the uh, Shooting Wolf Proterize Key. Next we'll look at the Shoot oh, Shot Riser. So there it is. Again, like I said, it's a freaking awesome thing. That is the uh, belt buckle. So as you can tell, there's a thing on the back. What you gotta do. And there you go. It is now locked in. So yeah, very simple, very easy. Makes sense because a lot of them are like that nowadays. Anyway, there it is. So that's the shot riser there. Very, very, very sleek design. Very, very cool. Again, there's not much to it. You got a nice blue there. You got a, a clear, I think it's a clear white screen, so it lights up obviously. Nice little bit of red silver there. Black thing on the butt top. You've got a bullet to be able to get your protodized key out. Nice clear part to see what goes in. Silver trigger. Seems pretty good. On the back, there's not much to it. Speaker for the noise, stuff like that. The on off switch, as you know. And it takes two AAA batteries. Make sure you have those on hand. So yeah, that's it there. Really, really cool. If I turn this sucker on. Shut riser. Shut riser. That is a real gun noise. Freaking love it. It is so good. So yeah, there you go. That's pretty much it for the uh, shot riser as well as the uh, shooting wolf proterize key. Now, now. question is, do I do Vulcan's transformation for you guys, or should I just put it all in so you guys can hear it? That is the question. What shall I do? I think for now, because I'm just a bit concerned with the noise, um, I'll do it so you guys can see it, and then later I might do his transformation a bit proper. If you've seen the start, you already know what's going to come about. If you haven't, you're in for a treat. Anyway, so, let's do this. Oops. There we go.
seemed pretty cool. I freaking like that. And the gun noise makes it a little bit different. Which is really cool. Now, to do a finisher, all you have to do is press the Proterize key button. And that's pretty much it. There's nothing to it. Very, very cool. Very, very simple design. I freaking love it. Um, I'll do it again just so you guys can hear it. So you press the button up here to slide out the Proterize key. Alrighty. So, again, hopefully this time I'm not sealing the uh, audio thing. Nope. So. There you go. Now you're probably going dark and doesn't it supposed to say uh, it's lying, which is uh, try to outright this, try to outright this bullet, no, the, I don't know, whatever the saying is. For some strange reason it doesn't do it. I have done this a countless times and it never does. Now I think they've just added it in for the series. That's all it is. Um, however, 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 I will try it in the Zero One driver because I'm curious to see and hear what it does. Now, you're probably going dark and nothing's happened. There's no other extras. You're probably right because even if I put it with the belt buckle, it does the exact same thing. Again, case in point. Take this out. Put this in the driver. So, again, just so you guys can see it. Did you hear that guys? Did you hear it? Because I did. Don't ask me why, but when it's connected to the buckle, it does the uh, try to outrun this bullet You're in uh, when the bullet is fired. I'll do it again so you can hear. See what I mean? Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I don't know why, for some strange reason, sometimes it just doesn't want to work. No matter how many times I've played with it, sometimes I get it, and sometimes I don't. Which is really interesting. Now you're probably going to say Darken, that's, there must be more, you've got other Proterize keys. You are totally correct, I do have more Proterize keys. And I'm going to test them right now, because well, we have the shot riser. Why not try them? So we're gonna do that right now. Shot riser.
So you did hear uh, rider, uh, rider jump, uh, sorry, jump into the sky turns into a rider kick, but it's very, very faint. It sometimes works. Sometimes you will get the line and sometimes you won't. So that is the jumping or yeah, jumping hopper, or jumping hopper protorized key in the shot riser key itself with finisher as well. So next up we will do the flying falcon. So, See, played the sound there. Don't ask me why Shooting Wolf sometimes doesn't, sometimes doesn't. It might be the way that I'm putting it in the gun, the Protorized Kitty, so it could be that as well. All right, finish your time. And then it just goes back to that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, sometimes it works for me. Like I can put it in, let's, I'll guarantee now it'll work, watch. Nothing. See, no matter how many times. So again, I don't know whether it is me or whether it is the Protorize key or whether it is the Shot Riser. For some strange reason, sometimes it'll play Shooting Wolf's uh, little speech that it does. Sometimes it doesn't. I don't know why. I have a feeling it's probably me and I'm being a big old goof putting it in and it just doesn't work because it obviously worked for Grasshopper and Falcons, but Wolf sometimes works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, either way, it doesn't really bother me too much. I still really wanted it. I do like uh, Vulcan's concept. I like Vulcan's design. His story, his backstory of why he wants to... Well, again, spoiler alert. Uh, wants to destroy the human gear is because of what happened to him in the past. Um, really, really, really well designed. I like the idea of it. And hopefully, as the series goes on, he'll develop. Because at the moment, he doesn't like Zero One. I wonder why. So I really hope that down the track he'll start to sort of understand more about Zero One and all the things he has. And then hopefully, again, being a secondary writer, they'll be friends. I don't know. All right, so now we've tried it with the Shot Riser. Let's try uh, shooting Wolf in the uh, Zero One Driver. So, Zero One Driver. Do this. Alrighty.
Again, guys, I really, 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 really wanted these. I'm really happy about it. Again, guys, I do apologize that it didn't do the, uh, what was the saying? Let me read it out loud to make sure I am saying it right. Uh, it is... To evade, uh, the evasion increases and the bullet is fired. So I do apologize that that did not happen. I know for some people it has worked, and I know for other people that have watched YouTube videos, it hasn't. So again, I don't know what it is. It could be something to do with this or the, the gun. I'm not too sure why. But please, please don't take that as a disadvantage or, oh, I don't want it, it doesn't work. Guys, trust me, you're still not gonna regret it. It's a very, very, very cool toy again it is both a transformation belt and a weapon you don't get that a lot of the time um but yeah i really really like it i'm so glad i've got it if you so much want to get these guys you can now pick them up pretty much in most places now because they are out you can get it from hobby link japan army army amazon and ebay bb but be wary of their pricing you can also get it from my good friend Tucker at Kutetsu Toys Japan. He also has his own YouTube channel, so do go check him out. He's actually done some very interesting transformation uh, videos with the Shot Riser as well as the Zero One Driver, so do go check him out as well. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like button. Every little bit does help, and I do appreciate everyone who do do it anyway because it just shows that you guys do enjoy what I do. Um, if you want to keep up to date with me and see any more toy reviews, not just of Carbon Rider, I also do Super Sentai Power Rangers as well. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you want to keep up to date when I get them out or when they come out, hit that bell as well. That's really important. If you want to keep in contact with me and actually have a chat with me, head over to my Twitch channel. I'm over there three days a week playing various games, Monster Hunter, Pokemon, Dead by Daylight, things like that check me out all the information will be in the description below so do come over and say a little hello let me know you guys are there um and that's pretty much it guys i really enjoyed this i'm really happy about it i look forward to seeing the rest of the show and seeing how these guys get on i can already see vulcan and zero one bashing heads but i think they're working out i really do yeah anyway <laughs> thank you so much for tuning in guys I am Dark and Tiger. Oh, and before I forget, if you want to help support the channel as well, make sure you head over to the Red Bubble store and pick up some sweet merch. Uh, every little bit does help. We do have t-shirts, sweaters, tank tops, hoodies, stickers, and other little assorted things there over in the Red Bubble store. Link again will be in the description below. Alright guys, I am Dark and Tiger, the Tiger from Down Number. And as always guys, I will see you guys in the next one. Ciao!